Hey everyone, how you doing? My name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video is a brand new modding app for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. Now when I say it's new, it's not. It's just been updated and improved. It's now working on the latest version of Minecraft, which is version 1.14.20. Now this app is completely free. There will be a download link in the description for you guys to check it out. It is just called Toolbox. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with those words. As you guys can see, we have this pickaxe where you can move it to wherever you want. By default, it's around about in the top left corner. Now, as you guys can see, there's a lot of different options with this and we're gonna be going through all of them. Before we do that though, let's go to the Google Play Store because these are the official changes updated again, only a couple of days ago. What's new? Minimap has now been improved. Enchanted items, show players on minimap and other new options, 1.14.30.51 beta support, so it will work if you're using beta. The app has, become, has been completely rewritten from scratch. So I think the last time I showed you guys this app, we were checking out in 1.12 and a lot of people were saying, Echo, does it work for 1.13? Does it work for 1.14? Now it does. So we're just gonna go to play. When you do that, an advert will pop up. Just watch the advert, it is a completely free app, but you do have to watch a couple of ads sometimes. Not all the time though. So there definitely is a lot of things to learn with this. Now, I think that over there is actually a chest. I think I've kept on the ability to find chests. I do wanna make a disclaimer, do not use this on servers or realms, you'll get yourself banned. Plus, only losers use hacks on servers and realms. This is if you just wanna mess around with your your single player worlds. I don't recommend doing this in your favorite worlds as well. My guess is that, yeah, dude, I did not know that these naturally generated in your world. So this is obviously giving us a treasure chest. So if you wanna find yourself treasure chest straight away, you can do that. So like I said, by default, um, the minimap is on, which I'm a big fan of minimaps. I think minimaps should be by default in Minecraft anyway. And we found another one over here as well. I completely forgot that I had these enabled. I'm curious though, is this? Oh, okay, so this is just an underwater structure. Minimaps are beautiful, so I think they should be an option in Minecraft, like I said. So, let's just go down and let me just go for a couple of things. Top left is where you have this. If you tap on it, it pops up with a couple of different issues. So, when you tap on it, it says movement. It shows on the other side. We can now use fly or no clip. Now, no clip gives you the ability to go through like everything, you know what I mean? It's it's basically spectator mode. Now there is a better option that you can combine with the the no clip, and I will show you that in today's video. Uh, you've got high jump. I've not tried this. We have auto jumping on, so I think it makes you jump as if you've got like the jumping potion on. So maybe if you want to start doing double jumps, <laughs> I guess that's something else that you could do. What other ones has this got? Ah, jump height, you can change it. Let's change it to six. So I'm guessing it's related to six blocks. Oh boy. Wait, can we get on top of this tree? Yep. It's that easy to get yourself on top of trees. Oh my, okay. So it has several different, well, a couple of different options. Um, but <laughs> I don't recommend doing it that high. I'm in, I'm in uh, creative. I'm not sure if that would do damage to me in survival. Let's actually check that. While we've got the high jump on, let's go to survival and let's see if this does any damage to you. Yeah, there you go. It does two hearts worth of damage. So my recommendation is to not have the jump that high unless you're in creative and you're messing around. We also have a speed ability as well. So how fast does this make you? Okay, so again, it's like as if you've got, oh my lord, these two combined. Dude, we'll be loop, we'll be, we'll be jumping through oceans at this rate. <laughs> That's so cool. Man, that is actually really, really cool. Okay, well, let's get rid of the jump height and let's get rid of speed. Ah, okay, we can change the speed to eight. Dude, we, sh you know what? We're going to keep them both on. Both to the highest ability. <laughs> this is so stupid, dude. I love the island that we've spawned on as well. We spawned on a survival island. It's just a random seed, by the way, guys. A lot of the time when I'm loading in the seeds, though, this is what we tend to get. All right, I've had enough fun with these two for now. We have auto sprinting, so you can just auto sprint. So, 
Come on, hold on, we need to sprint. How does the auto sprinting work? It's not auto sprinting. Do I have it enabled? I do have it enabled, right? Okay, well, we're going to turn it off. No blow, no bow slowness and slow falling as well. Ah, okay, so this one is going to be the slow falling effect. Really good for killing the ender dragon, but it says no bow slow. So I want to quickly just get rid of these. I want to find myself a bow and see how this works. Bow. So how does this work? I guess it just means there's like hardly any delay with it, is, is what I'm guessing. Okay. All right, so that's the movement ones. We do have world options. One of them is called Bridge Builder, and one of them is Chest Stealer. You've also got Force Achievements as well, which I don't recommend doing that, because one of the most enjoyment things in Minecraft is to earn your achievements legit. You've also got Nukes, which... I never figured out how to do this. Oh, oh, okay. Now I understand. Can we make this a little bit smaller though? We'll make this by three. So this basically just makes your, your mining a lot. Yeah, there you go. Dude, so if you mine like that, oh my God, it's like the mods on PC where you have pickaxes. This would be so useful in survival if you were uh, trying to find yourself diamonds or trying to find yourself ores in general. That's, that's really cool. Now I really like that. I feel like that should be an option, as in like, um, for pickaxes. You've got haste, which is just your speed, or which is just your mining. Again, that's just for survival options. Uh, rapid build. So I couldn't figure out 100% how this one works. You've got a couple of different options on the screen at the top right now. So if you tap on one, which, and then you, you, you place that down, and you tap on two, that gives you that small area. And I don't know what this does. I don't know what that does. Because it doesn't really explain in great detail how, how it works. It just says rapid build. So maybe we try and get ourselves a block. Let's try just a default wooden block for now. No, I, I really couldn't figure out how it works. If somebody knows how this works, please let me know in the comment section. But it does have like a an auto building option. Uh, it's got command mode as well. I'm not sh quite sure about them. So the ones that are locked, you can still access them. So let's go Bridge Builder. So it says here, Unlock Premium. The feature is currently locked. To unlock it, you can watch a 30 second ad for which you'll be rewarded with 15 minute access pass to all toolbox features. So let's just watch the advert because there's a couple other things locked behind this. And before I do watch the advert, X-Ray and Block Tracer, they're locked behind it. And Kill Aura is locked behind it. You don't get access to these all the time. You will have to watch a couple of ads every now and then. So let's do it. So it really was that simple to unlock it. A simple ad and then you get bridge builder. Um, how does the bridge builder work? See, some of these I'm still not 100% familiar with. We've also got chest dealer as well. What on earth is chest dealer? <laughs> some of them I really don't know, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Some of them I just have no idea how they work. Um, the bridge builder though. I wish there was a little bit more details explaining what the bridge builder is all about. Maybe if we try and like... I don't know. Something's dying down there though. Oh, there might be a spawner down there. I think we trapped them. Oops. My bad. Okay, well we'll leave them ones for now. Let's go to render. Uh, X-ray. We do have x-ray, so that is going to show you every single bit of ore, okay? Now, I don't hate x-ray. I think x-ray is, is an option for players. If you want to use x-ray, then you go ahead. But if you want to grind legitimately, you can do that. Now, there's a couple of things I want to show you in this one. So we will go to... Ah, okay, so you can get rid of a couple of them. We Maybe you just wanted to find diamonds. What about if we... Ah, this even locates lava for you. Okay, so it's gonna sh That's actually a really good one. If you're trying to find diamonds, I think the best things to have on would be lava and diamonds so you can find them. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So let's get rid of this one as well. Uh, chest ESP, which I think is what we had on already, which is locates your chests. Uh, player ESP will show players. Block tracer. That one... What is over here? Ah, okay, so it's just gonna show you general general blocks that have been broken or placed by players, I'm guessing. That's what that's what my guess is. I don't really know. Uh what you can track air? That's weird. You got free cam. So this is where uh basically guys it's like no clip free cam plus so if we just go down real quick, 
you'll see that the world is incredibly dark. Now, if you're using this one, I recommend enabling full brightness as well. It's basically like spectator mode. And I think there's flowers. Did I just... No, they're not flowers. They're bubbles. Okay, bubble columns. They are the bubble columns. I mean, I guess you can find yourself a couple of underwater cave systems like this. So yeah, you might we might not have spectator mode, but this is probably the closest thing we have to it. So if you ever wanted to just explore and see what was underneath specific worlds, that's something I would recommend. Free cam and full brightness off. The armor HUD you can have on. Minimap you can have on or off. I, minimap is brilliant. I love it. So you can make this bigger in general. You can have this as big as you wanted to. I mean, that's quite on the big side. If you didn't mind it being that big, then, I mean, use it all you like. But to me, it's a little bit too big. I think the perfect size for this one is probably around about... No, that's even, that's even still too big. That's, we'll keep the radius the same, sorry, the size. I think around about 200. I'm kind of okay with that because you're then able to see things a little bit better. By default, I think it's just the smallest one. Is it? No, that's... Pff, what's the point in that? <laughs> Makes no point. I think we just keep it like there. I'm, I'm okay with that. It's not it's not too bad. Uh, we need to make sure we change the time of day, though. Forward slash time, set sunrise. We'll get it sunrise. Okay, so we've also got chat. Which, I've not done this yet. Um, commands. Oh, you can add commands. Okay, very similar to the ordinary chat. And then we've also got combat. So you have kill aura, which attacks mobs, attacks player interval. So if we grab... I'm not 100... Is this like a one-shot kill kind of thing? The kill aura? Yeah, it is. Oh! I've actually come across players with this. So basically you have like a, an invisible barrier around you. And it, it kills them. I actually come across players with this quite frequently. On servers, though. Losers. They're dead, though. Yeah, so that will kill... Ah, okay. So, yeah, don't recommend having kill players on, because that's not fair. Interval, to stop you from killing everything there and then. Anti-knockback and the bow. So, the auto bow is actually a really good one. So, whenever I, like, if I'm looking over here, it will automatically lock onto mobs for you to kill them. Which is pretty crazy, to be honest with you. If we look at the, uh, see what I mean? It's just locked onto the horse. Makes you incredibly OP. What else is there? They're enchantments. So if I want to give my bow absolutely every single possible thing, we are able to do this. This is going to be a fully maxed out bow. So as you guys can see, we have every single Possible enchantment on this bow Let's go and kill some things because we have the auto bow. So there's there's a squid squid's gonna be the test dummy I'm sorry squiddy. Oh my look how many ink sacks he dropped Yo, we got to get a couple of animals here. Let's go. Who should we use who drops something good in Minecraft? Let's find Let's go with the creeper. Let's see how much they can drop Let's see how many things they can drop. So if we put down a creeper and we shoot you Oh, he, he disappeared into oblivion. Okay. Let's try this again. There we go. How many did we pick up then? <laughs> a stack and a half just from killing them. But guys, go and explore it for yourself. Like I said, use it with reason, all right? Because the more you abuse things like this on servers and realms, you're going to ruin the fun for everybody else who actually play with these kind of things legit. So I've been Echo. Have a great day. Stay beautiful. Go and enjoy every single possible enchantment you can, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye!